The ocean is vast and untamed. Yet, in the middle of its violent waves, stand towering giants of steel and concrete, oil rigs. These are not just machines. They are floating cities, engineering marvels, and some of the tallest structures ever built by humans. In this video, we'll explore the tallest oil rigs in the world. From the freezing Arctic to the stormy North Sea, these colossal platforms show what's possible when human determination meets the challenges of nature. Our countdown begins with the Pedido Spa, located in the Gulf of Mexico and operated by Shell. Standing about 267 meters tall, almost the height of three football fields, it is one of the deepest floating oil production platforms in the world. What makes Pedido remarkable isn't just its size, but its depth of operation. Anchored at a depth of nearly 2,450 meters, it drills deeper than almost any other platform on Earth. The spa design allows it to float like a giant buoy, stabilized by enormous ballast tanks. Workers describe it as living on an island in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by endless water. Next, the Petronius platform, also in the Gulf of Mexico. At its full height, Petronius measures 640 meters from the ocean floor to the tip of the structure. To put that in perspective, that's taller than the Burj Khalifa if measured from seabed to sky. Petronius is a compliant tower platform, meaning it can sway with ocean currents and storms instead of resisting them completely. This flexibility prevents structural damage during hurricanes, a crucial feature in the Gulf. Even though only part of its height is visible above water, the hidden structure beneath the waves is a giant in its own right. In the icy waters off Newfoundland, Canada, stands the Hibernia platform. This rig was built with one enemy in mind, icebergs. The platform is surrounded by enormous concrete walls, designed to resist the impact of million-ton icebergs drifting from the Arctic. Hibernia weighs over 1.2 million tons, making it one of the heaviest structures ever moved. It produces hundreds of thousands of barrels of oil per day, even in one of the harshest climates on Earth. Here, workers battle freezing winds, ice, and storms, yet life continues, with entire communities living weeks at a time offshore. Now we reach the Trolle platform, in Norway's North Sea. At 472 meters tall, Trolle is the tallest structure ever moved by humans. Imagine lifting a skyscraper taller than the Empire State Building and floating it into place. That's exactly what engineers did in 1996. Built from concrete, its legs are so massive they could house elevators inside. Troll A is anchored deep into the seabed and still stands as one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. Its gas reserves help power much of Europe, making it not only tall but vital to global energy. In the Gulf of Mexico sits the Thunder Horse PDQ, one of the largest semi-submersible production rigs ever built. This platform can drill in waters over 1,800 meters deep and withstand Category 5 hurricanes. After Hurricane Dennis in 2005, Thunder Horse was damaged and almost sank, but engineers brought it back to life, stronger than ever. Today, it remains a symbol of resilience in one of the harshest drilling environments on the planet. Far away in the Sea of Okhotsk, off the coast of Russia, stands the Burkut oil platform. Burkut is designed to survive ice flows, earthquakes, and temperatures as low as minus 44 degrees Celsius. It weighs more than 200,000 tons, heavier than two aircraft carriers combined. This monster of steel is a true fortress against nature, proving human engineering can survive even the edge of Siberia. If you're fascinated by these engineering giants, make sure to hit subscribe and check out my channel for more documentaries on the world's tallest, biggest, and most dangerous structures. Next is Shell's Appomattox platform, a floating production system in the Gulf of Mexico. 
This rig can handle ultra-deep drilling and produces over 175,000 barrels of oil per day. The platform floats but is moored by steel tendons that keep it steady even in storms. Appomattox is a symbol of how far deep water drilling has come in just a few decades. The Olympus platform, also in the Gulf, is another towering colossus. Weighing over 120,000 tons, it combines drilling, production, and living quarters in one massive structure. Olympus is built to operate in water depths of nearly 3,000 feet, proving again that the Gulf of Mexico is home to some of the tallest rigs in the world. The Magnolia platform is another ultra-deep water rig designed to drill where few others can. Though smaller above water than some rigs, its drilling reach makes it one of the most powerful in operation. From the icy seas of Russia to the stormy North Atlantic and the hurricane-filled Gulf of Mexico, the world's tallest oil rigs stand as proof of human ambition. They are not just towers of steel, they are lifelines of energy, floating cities, and marvels of modern engineering. Which rig amazed you the most? Comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more epic stories of the world's biggest and boldest structures.